Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Uh, so last time out, we came all the way up here to the... I've forgotten the name of it now. Uh, da -da -da -da. Botanical Lab, that was the one. And we're about to make the decision as to where to route the power. Although before I do that... Let's go knock off this side quest first. Finding where Zoe is. So wait, what was the... Okay, we'll go talk to Stefan and then we'll check Zoe's house. Nope. Sorry, Stefan. You hungry? We got canid ribs. Canid flank. Canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? Uh, we'll talk to him first rather Zoe? than trade. Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Zoe and I were going to watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. You know what's confusing me? Is this feels so much like Fallout that I keep thinking it is Fallout. So every time he took, like, they talk about watching things on the TV and stuff like that, and I'm just like, how can you do that in post-apocalyptic wasteland? And then I have to remind myself, this isn't Fallout. This is the Outer Worlds. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hey, I got time. Okay. Let's go check the house. Good news, I'm alive. Starting to feel a little better too. There's a group of deserters living out in the old botanical labs. They found a way to grow some food, or something that passes for food anyway. Adelaide boiled a pot of something green and leafy and told me to drink it twice a day for my symptoms, I suppose. Uh, for my symptoms, I suppose. Tastes atrocious, but I've been feeling better. It's nice to be away from the cannery. The labs have just enough power to run an ether wave, so I've been catching up on my serial dramas. Masked marketeer, what would I do without you? Go crazy, most likely. Crack up, murder all my neighbours, and run screaming into the hills like some wild marauder. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't sound too bad. I could see myself leading a cadre of marauders. Cadre? Card? I don't know, cadre of marauders, a band of bandits. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Band of bandits? What would we call ourselves? The formidable 14? The, the 100 hooligans featuring Zoe, bandit queen? Okay, maybe she has lost her mind. I'm going to let you guys read all these. I'm wondering if she's got the plague. And yeah, she talks about being sick. That sounds a bit plaguey to me. What am I even looking for in here? Ah, here we go. Uh, uh. Okay, I think I know what's happened to her and I don't think it's good news. She might still be alive. 
I think it's it's not necessarily fair to assume she's dead because she decided to go off and fraternize with the enemy. Can we tell you? What is it? I'll tell you what I can. Doesn't look like I can. No. What is it? Okay, doke. Abyssinia. It's a lovely day for it. You friend or foe? Your foe. Mistakes were made. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh crap, yeah, I am hurt. Oh! I think I cut the bottom of his jaw off. I think Pavati's down as well. Okay. I still need to get better at the combat, I'll admit that. Doobie doo, anything over here? I really want to do is loot the guy who looked like he was wearing power armor. Where was he? Where was he? One, two. Is it? No, it wasn't him, was it? Where'd he go? Is this him? Might have already uh, looted him. <laughs> it's just bits of his. Uh, it's a bit morbid. <laughs> just bits of him everywhere. So it's time, Pavati. We're going to be travelling a whole lot further than this. Let's just uh, hide ourselves in here temporarily. We're picking up so much stuff. This, it feels like we're picking up too much stuff right now. There's a lot of bad guys here. Oh, wait, that's Pavati. Bad guys running here. <laughs> It's hard to recognize the enemy when uh, she's dressed like them. I really need to take that helmet off her. I still don't know how. Oh, 
I'm going to look that up quickly. There we go. Remove helmet from companion. Oh. Okay, it's just a graphics thing. Oh, well, looks like you're stuck with it then, Pavati. She's really good at wiping out the enemies. Really good. This stuff. Now I'm encumbered. Okie dokie. Now can I... Wasn't there something about being able to give stuff to my companion? I mean, we could break down a lot of this stuff. That's a little bit better. Uh, could probably get rid of some of these as well. We'll call that good enough for now. Should be able to sprint again. Zoe. Wow, you crossed them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Gee, I wonder why. I may have farted them a few boxes of Adrena time, but... I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. I don't know about you guys, but I'm finding it really annoying right now. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Alright. Job done.
So uh, we'll do some more digging around here for a little bit and then we'll head back to the botanical lab and then we'll head over to the geothermal. These buildings are a little bit similar. We've visited a building that looks just like this one. But then I suppose if you have the same architect you do end up with a similar looking building. Ooh. Maybe we will head back to that other building. Can't go in there. I think we're done here. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. Oh, crap. That's bad. Ouch. God, Pavati. I know I said stay close. I didn't mean that bloody close. Oh, am I over encumbered again? Looks like it. Um, let's see. Does it say my carry weight anywhere? Oh yeah, at the top. 115, no, 110. So I've got a... Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I'm just going to eat this stuff. I feel like there's some stuff here that I need to get rid of. As in, like, completely drop. There we go, back underneath again. Alright. I can still fast travel when I'm over encumbered, at least, so I've got that going for me. Let's go back to the botanical gardens, and then we'll uh, chat to. Was it Grace? I think it was Grace. Uh, wherever she is, up here. What is it? God, you're full of sunshine, aren't you? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Oh, yes, please. Let me know if I can do something for you. Okay, job done. Uh, let's have a look at the journal. I think we're going to be diverting the power now. I mean, there's this other. Oh, actually, that's pretty close. We could go take care of that. And then we'll do the main quest. Alright. Uh, hello Ludwig. We'll be back talking to you in a second, mate. Don't you worry. Need to find a vending machine at some point as well. Get rid of all this stuff that we're carrying that we don't need. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you've wanted me to. Do you know what, Pavati? I think I do. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, me by Spacer's Choice Standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Want 
account of I fixed him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard. Uh-huh. Hebsa Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. Be more careful out there, Jeremy. I was hoping we could recruit him. Gnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. Oh well. Let's go talk to Ludwig. So I'm feeling really lazy. So it looks like we'll be able to come back to Edgewater with our ship, but if we decide to divert power to the bot uh, botanical lab, I'm not sure we will be able to. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. This this guy. He's yeah, just <laughs> he's an absolute wacko. Alright, Cantina. Have we been in here yet? I don't think we have. You're not a big drinker, are you? Not a beat for me. Go Pavati. You read the latest report? I might talk to you well, quickly, actually. I don't know you. That's a good way to say hi. Uh huh. The unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. Am I that easy to read? Yeah. We've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues. Lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand. But you... I don't know you. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Don't you go letting them traitors drip poison down your ear. Nothing decent about a worker who walks out on their own family. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? This is where I'm morally conflicted. Because I want to side with the deserters. But at the same time, I want to find out the full story. Go ahead. I don't see how that's any of your business. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's work spacer's choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. 
Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero G? Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? Uh uh. <laughs> that right. Prove it. Ah, I know that serial drama. They were playing it just the other night. What was it called? The Last Spacer? You're right. I don't believe you. I'd advise you to keep that story unsaid. Don't want people thinking you're a loon. Ah, because this town's not full of crazy people at all. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. Look, I don't know what you're blathering about. If you took a blow to your skull, you really should settle down with some zero G. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there, and I cannot tell you which I revile more. My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. Sounds like she's a bit of a recluse. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. I've talked enough about my past. Suppose I did. Ready to talk about it? What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. That's exactly the kind of crazy talk that comes from an overabundance of sobriety. Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. Okay, nothing of huge amounts of interest here. I'm assuming these are all just NPCs. Oh, Winslow. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? Edgewater, jewel of the Vale. 
May the law bless our beloved cannery with a hundred years of, uh, what's it called? Productivity. That's the one. Yep, that's us. Productive. Oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. Company lets me imbibe as much zero-G brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. That does not sound good. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Yeah, he does not sound like he's in a good way. Didn't we read a terminal entry about that? Someone lost a hand. Was it him? I'm assuming this is all stealing. Yep. This too? Yep. What have we got up here then? sleep but that might make people turn hostile I'm just going to go back to Ludwig we'll drop his stuff off and then we'll head over to the uh, geothermal plant how are we doing for time? we're about halfway through so not too bad give or take Bring us honor, soldier. Uh huh. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Anyone else think this guy sounds like the professor from Futurama? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Hmm. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. Didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. 
Keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. I'm a bit of a sympathizer right now. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Oh, this guy's a tall. I hate him so much. <laughs> Okay, to install your mod, first select the item you wish to upgrade, then choose what type of mod you wish to install. Scope, armor, plating, etc. Finally, pick the mod to install and boom, you upgraded your item. Both weapons and armor can be modified. Mods can't be removed once they're used, so put them on your favorite gear. So can I? So these are Pavati's, and these are mine. So my question is... First of all, can I use this? So if I took that, oops, if I, hang on. Okay. So this assault rifle. sure if I want to do that. Speed grip, sure grip. I want to do that one. Definitely. Uh, actually, I think I'll put this one on as well. Is this already a shock weapon? Use energy. I think I'm going to put the mod. Yeah, I think I'll put you on here as well. Extendo sight. Sure. Alright. And then for the armor. This is what I'm currently wearing. I think that's the best armor I've got as well. So what have I got here that I could potentially add? Chronofield aggregator. Uh, restore some of your TTD meter when you deal a critical hit. Sure. Hunter kit increases your ranged weapon skills. Increases your tech skills. Oh. Maybe not then. Um, I'll add this as well. Okay, let's tinker. Oh, what does it actually do if I tinker with it? Does it say? I don't think it does. Oh, there you go. It says on the... Uh, Okie doke. It says on the right hand side there. So I'm not really gaining much by doing that. So I'm just going to leave the rest as is for now. Okay, there's the lunatic. So before we, we go and take care of the geothermal, the last thing I'm going to do, probably in this episode actually, is just have a chat with Reed again and see if he has any more dialogue to do with where we direct power to. Should I go piss off the barber as well. Oh, I just cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectants. What can I do for you? Go ahead. Oh yeah, Eugene. Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. 
we never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. I almost feel like this should be a side quest. What can I do for you? Go ahead. The plagues come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. The plagues come at us with a... I wouldn't... Fever. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Hmm. I feel like there was another quest to do with Eugene. Hmm, maybe not. Alright, let's go do a little bit of exploring before we move on. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick, you don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. It's no reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Don't. Please. I could get into a lot of trouble. That's kind of you to say, I suppose. But I don't need help. What I need is to understand my own folly. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Esther's got medication? How? Did the boss get a new shipment? I'm sorry, it's just I thought we couldn't spare the medicine. Nope, I'm sorry. I can't accept help from Esther. If I deserved treatment, I wouldn't be here. Why? That is exactly what I've been doing. Not my place to doll out punishment. Not even against myself. All right, you made your point. If Esther offers to treat me, I won't turn her down. Okay, that's one good deed we've done. Who are you? Just sick resident. I'm not stealing from the hospital. 
No, 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 no. I'll take from you though, because you're dead. Or at least you look dead. Oh, it's guards. Thought I did something wrong then. Who are you? Just a sick resident now. Lovely. I see they're guarding exactly the right things. Alright, let's move on. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that. General store, let's have a look in here. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, got my eye on you, girl. Vending machine incident. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Go right ahead. What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. You are condescending to me, and I do not care for it. I am lucky to have my work. Lucky to be alive. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Go right ahead. Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth, knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. There's a reason for that. Plague. I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. I take umbrage with your choice of phrase. We ain't sick, we're rugged. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but the fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature, it's company policy. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch, and you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word is, they're gonna replace her with an auto-mechanical barkeep. She's, what's the word, obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Go right ahead. Amelia, De word is, Okay, I thought there might be some more options to do with whatever Pavati did. Something you need? In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? There was a, a kind of a thing, the vending machine, when I was 12. Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So, I saw a lock on the machine and thought, Oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I 
did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. <laughs> it's not funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Rose still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Yikes. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Sounds like she has a story to tell. Maybe one day we'll get to listen to it. Alright, let's go see Mr. Thompson. We've pretty much been through all here, haven't we? Is there a vending machine somewhere around here? Yeah, there's still a lot of junk. I should lighten up our carry capacity slightly. Oh, hello. Bit of lag. If I say, I'm sure that ride was quicker the first time we did it. If you could see your way to getting us our power back, I'd appreciate it. Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Yes, as a matter of fact. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking out this window and seeing the veil spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Spacer's choice will always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. This is a Spacer's choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, Ray. Right? This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Go ahead. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Nature is uglier. There is safety here. Safety and purpose. But not all of us see that. And I cannot force that vision upon them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. 
We have lost even more to play, but it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Go ahead. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a sisty pig without tumors, borderline inedible. Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the body's humors. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us, Saltuna is hard to come by, what with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of Saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palate. Go ahead. Hmm. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. Yes, it is. And it's necessary. Spacer's choice is a family. And the survival of the family is more important than the survival of the individual. Go ahead. That you are not... I admit... Nature... Yes. Go ahead. I have a theory. My theory is this. I reckon... What he... So the... the was it Sal, Saltuna? Whatever it's called. Is fake. It's not the real stuff. And I reckon one of the ingredients is what's causing these plagues. So I think there must be a quest somewhere where we can get to the bottom of that. But who can we talk to to potentially get to the bottom of it? Because we only have. Like two or three quests now. Do you think is there anyone in here that we could perhaps talk to? There's the woman upstairs. She might know something. I think we might have to go have a little chat with her. Wherever she's gone. Oop, sorry. Let me check this terminal.
Somebody's been spinning a tale about a lost colony ship. Talk like that'll get you reported real quick. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. What's on your mind? Yeah? I don't understand. I found Eugene's body. I know the guy shot himself. Wait, are you telling me he was murdered? He was plagued? Oh, wow, that's awful. I helped carry his body out. I could have been infected. This is all a little too much for me to take in. But I guess if Eugene wasn't a suicide, our town won't have to pay a penalty. What's on your mind? Yeah? Okay. No more conversation options there. She's a nice caring person, isn't she? Here then. Okay, I think we're done in here now. I, I'm not sure. God, every time. I'm not sure if there's any other buildings we can go and explore. Because I, I doubt the vicar's gonna, got anything to say on it. Who else did we talk to about? It was Ludwig, Conrad, Phyllis. Who was the other? Abernathy. Right, where was he again? Yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of exploring. We've got a little bit of time left. This could be a slightly longer well, episode. Happens. Well, science happens. But it does happen. I just want to see if there's any more NPCs we can talk to about the plague. Because I reckon there's a quest involved in all of this. And I'd like to get to the bottom of it, if possible. As I said, I have my little theories about what's happened. I want to see if I'm right. If you're hungry, I could open up a can or something. Because there, there might be a peaceful solution to this power issue. My dad, it's an office. Just my office. Oh, this is her home. Where are we headed? Okay, so I can't actually uh, talk to her about it yet. Hey, that's... I mean, if you need it, okay. Alright, I'm not going to nick your dad's stuff.
Okay, that feels like we can talk to her about it. I'm going to explore the rest of the house first. <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Oh, she's there. Something you need? I can't believe there's no conversation to do with the terminal. Maybe she already knows it. Chances are she's already read it. It'd be a bit dumb if she hasn't. Alright, we'll keep exploring a little bit more. I'd like to talk to Esther again at some point. As I said, find out a bit more information. There's nothing here that we can fix. No. There's a workshop though, so we'll uh we'll have to come back to that at some point. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. At least you got your help. Okay, so Abernathy lives here. Please, wander around. Touch things. I'm awfully contagious. Let's talk with Esther. I appreciate what you've done, but we shouldn't be seen together. Somebody deserving. Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay, so she's got nothing to say. Wanted posters. So let's go talk to the constabulary. And then that will probably have to do for this episode because we've been going for quite a while now. So we'll uh, we'll hop in. What I'm doing. Yeah, we'll hop in here because the there's the bounty well. thing in here, isn't there? I've never actually been in here. Seems scary to me outside. Okay, let's talk to you. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations, and the fourth one's free. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Mm-hmm. Shot you into space. You know, lying to a Spacer's Choice Constable is a violation of company policy and punishable by a fine. It is for Spacer's Choice. Unfortunately, 
the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy as Facer's choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas B. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. I represent Spacer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which is itself a member of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Also, I specialize in processing fingerprints, so unless you're carrying Wells's finger on you, there's not a lot I can do for you. Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Halcyon's original colony ship, now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Dale serves Facer's Choice. Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the Board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. Something to report? As long as your questions fall... If this is a setup to... I don't... Careful, stranger. Talk like that comes dangerously close to sedition. Hmm, okay. No one in there. Do we turn over Phineas? That's a good question. I'm in Philly pretty low these days. That is a good question. One that we'll have to save for a future episode though, because we are pretty much done for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below. Let me know if there's anyone I should have spoken to and have missed. Anything like that is always appreciated. Uh, besides that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.